Coffee. By making myself a coffee, I mean I'm making myself. That's so dark. I mean I'm making myself a shot of double espresso. So I guess that's actually just called two shots of espresso. But we have an office day. Welcome to a work week in my life in New York City. This is my last day in Brooklyn. If you guys are new here, the lowdown, you guys. It's kind of complicated, but I just moved to New York a month ago. I've been staying ever so amazingly. I'm so gracious for this opportunity. I've been staying at my cousin's place in Brooklyn, and the time has come for me to move out because they need to use it. So I am moving tomorrow to go stay in my brother's apartment for a week. <laughs> Which is also so nice of him. He's like moving out for a whole week so I can go there. Yeah, that is the plan. And then I'm finally moving into my actual apartment. So stay tuned for all of that. Subscribe so you don't miss my actual place. But I'm excited for my last full day in Brooklyn. I actually really have loved living here. I've been in Park Slope, which is honestly like the cutest neighborhood in the world. Like I'm I'm obsessed. I love it. Maybe one day I'll be back here when I want to like raise a family or something. I don't know. We'll see. But it's been such a great month here. Just getting used to living in New York and exploring all the different places here. I'm going to miss it. I love Park Slope. I'm going to be back and visit over the summer. I love Prospect Park. I can't believe I only did one run in Prospect Park, which is kind of crazy. It's such a gorgeous park. And once I move to downtown Manhattan, it won't be too bad. But I'm going to be in Midtown for like a week. So my next vlog will be me living in Murray Hill for an entire week which will also be fun but yeah that is what's going on i work nine to five in advertising my office is in hoboken so i need to go commute i just got back from hilton head last night so i'm a bit tired but we did some orange theory this morning so feeling good i'm just excited to take on the week with you guys since it was memorial day weekend i'm starting this on a wednesday because i just worked from home yesterday so it's already wednesday three more days left of the work week my last day in Brooklyn. And then I somehow need to pack all my stuff into an Uber and move to my brother's apartment. So a lot of moving is happening. I've had like a million moving vlogs in this series, but I feel like every week we're moving something. So I'm gonna quickly do some very light makeup because I have a facial after work actually. This place called Le Beauty invited me in and it's actually in Midtown. So it's like in the direction of going to my brother's place so after work i'm gonna stop there i'm gonna also pick up the keys so that i can move into my brother's place tomorrow morning but we got a lot of work to do today in terms of just the actual office day but then also packing everything up so it's gonna be quite the day you guys quite the week uprooting myself once again but it's the last time uprooting myself until i'm finally officially going to be settled in my brand new apartment so i know it's all gonna be worth it Let's get ready for the office day. I am finally all ready. I feel like it's been a second since I've gone into the office, like almost a week. I went, I last went on Thursday, now it's Wednesday. So I was out in the office on Friday. Got my chargers, got my laptop, got my Kindle. I'm reading Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And I want to read it on my commute because I have like an hour commute. So I might as well take advantage of it. But, oh, I also wanted to tell you guys I finished, well, I read Daisy Jones and the Six while I was in Hilton Head. And I wasn't, I didn't vlog Hilton Head, so 
wanted to update you guys on that i really liked that book and that inspired me to read another taylor jenkins read book so now i'm reading malibu rising and it's really interesting i'm like about halfway through so we'll see how it goes i feel like it's picking up but yeah this is my look the dress is abercrombie i just wanted to wear a dress because i feel like so much more comfortable. My bag feels so light. I'm used to lugging around two laptops, but I'm just bringing my work laptop. Yeah, I guess I have everything. Okay, so yeah, I just wanted to wear a dress because I feel like it's more comfortable when I'm gonna be walking around a lot today in the office and stuff. Normal jewelry, shoes are Steve Madden sneakers, and that's all she wrote. Let's have a great little office day. And I'm about to get on the path. I ordered my coffee from Blink Street and totally ordered a hot when I meant to order ice. So that's slightly annoying, but it's okay. What is up you guys? It's 11 p.m. I'm about to go to sleep. I'm getting ready for bed. I kind of had a very chill evening. So after work, I went from Hoboken to Midtown and had my little facial at Le Beauty. And it was so nice of them to invite me in. I feel like my skin got super refreshed. I loved the like lymphatic massage type stuff that they did. That just, I needed that deep puffness. <laughs> And then I ate a million salty pretzels when I got home, gluten-free of course, so it probably undid the whole thing. But I was just like, I was reading this book, Malibu Rising, I was finishing it on my commute, and whenever I got home I was like, I had my leftovers from lunch for dinner, and I also had an acai bowl for dinner, and just like a bunch of pretzels, and that kind of got me into a food coma. And I was like, oh my god, I need to finish this book because I was like 80% of the way through and it just, it's a really climactic ending with so many moving parts. I was really expecting it to end in a tragedy and I was surprised. No spoilers though, but I really loved this book. It was interesting. There were just so many complex characters that like really made you think they were all flawed in different ways and all hurt in so many ways and it was just so interesting that's so vague but like i don't want to give any spoilers but it's also like it's set in california in the 60s 70s and 80s so it's just like beach vibes and i think i've discovered that historical fiction is my favorite genre i like it my next book i'm gonna read is the last letter i think by rebecca yaros i just i love all of her books all of her books that i've read i've really really enjoyed so i'm excited about that but it was a good little taylor jenkins read kick for a bit i'm back on my reading grind ever since my whole breakup basically i have not been reading just because not really because of the breakup but just because of moving and figuring that all out but whenever i'm on a trip it always gets me back in the reading mood because there's nothing else to do on the airplane in my opinion that passes the time in the best way so i got back into my reading grind i'll probably read some on my commute tomorrow start my next book but that is my little reading update i got my key for my brother to move into his place tomorrow but i didn't get any of the shit done that I wanted to in terms of packing up the apartment tonight because I was just like so tired from my food coma and just like having a long office day. I do feel like the office day was very productive. I had a team lunch outing in the middle of the day, which was so yummy. We went to this place. I'm like, I keep talking about food. We went to this place called Greek Town in Hoboken and it was such a nice spot. We were literally the only people at the restaurant for lunch. Like Hoboken is such a different vibe than Manhattan. I mean, obviously, but it's like Manhattan is just a zoo 
in Hoboken, it's like, okay, lunchtime, you can literally be the only people in the whole restaurant. Like, I just think that never happens in Manhattan in like a place where there's offices nearby and stuff. Like, that's just not the vibe. So it's like a whole nother little peaceful world, which is honestly kind of nice to be able to go to, but not like have to live there. But yeah, I feel a little stressed and I'm prepared for my move tomorrow, but I'm just so tired that I'm gonna go to sleep, wake up early. I had to cancel my orange theory class because I'm just not gonna have time for that in the morning. That was gonna be a little ambitious for me. And I'm gonna just pack up all my stuff in the morning when I wake up after I get myself a nice little latte and hopefully it all fits and we're just gonna go from there. It's a it's a tomorrow morning problem <laughs> in terms of getting everything packed up. So I'm gonna get some good night's sleep, get eight hours. I didn't quite get eight hours last night, so I think I just need to focus on getting sleep for the time being and tomorrow morning I'll figure out all of the moving logistics and then go into work again. But I'm very excited to be a Murray Hill girl <laughs> as of tomorrow if everything goes according to plan. If I get overwhelmed and I'm not able to move everything in time, then I'll just move stuff on Friday. But I'm hoping that I get everything organized in the morning so I don't have to do that. So that's my plan. Let's do it, guys. Good morning, you guys. I got dressed. I have so much to do this morning. But first, I'm going to go for my little walk and get my little latte from Link Street. I'm just so tired. It's 7.23. Took me like 20 minutes to get dressed. I don't know why. We have a lot to do this morning, so let's see what we can get done, what we can get packed up. I'm really thinking I might have to do a second trip <laughs> and like empty a suitcase and then bring it here and get more stuff because I just like, my stuff has grown exponentially since I've gotten here, but my bags have stayed the same. So this is gonna be very difficult and I'm really dreading getting into all of this, but I think a latte will make it better. And getting some fresh air and a little walk this morning will make me feel awake. So let's go to Blank Street. Okay, you guys, it's like two or three hours later. <laughs> I'm not going into the office today. I messaged my coworker and he was like, oh my God, it's so fine. Like take the time to move this morning. I know you have a lot going on. So that's great. But yeah, I finally got the apartment picked up and just organized. Ripped the sheets and I think it's good. Um, I think my cousin's having a cleaning person come in. So I don't really have to do any cleaning, but I got all my stuff. Kind of looks insane. I have these two big suitcases that are filled to the brim. My yoga mat, my coffee makers in this small bag, my tote bag with like all my electronics and work laptops and everything. And then this suitcase with some clothes and toiletries. And then I have three trash bags, one with dirty clothes, one with shoes and one with i really don't remember what i put in there honestly but probably just overflow clean clothes so that is the vibe this morning i'm gonna bring this all out into the lobby and then bring it all out outside and then call an uber and it just it seems so daunting trying to carry all of this just because it's like a bunch of little bags i wish that all the trash bags was just like another suitcase that would make it so much easier but i think it's gonna be okay I just have to get through the next hour and then all my stuff will be at my brother's apartment and everything will be fine. There will be peace in the world. So <laughs> I'm just kidding, obviously. But anyway, okay. Yeah, that is my plan. Let's just do it. Let's get it over with. I'm really dreading this. <laughs> I hate moving stuff, but it's gonna be fine. I made it to my brother's apartment. We did it guys. My uber driver was so nice and I can't fit the luggage cart They have a luggage cart at this apartment, which is so clutch because I don't know how else I Was gonna I was just gonna have to make multiple trips So but they have a cart that I got everything in but I can't get the cart in the apartment So I'm gonna unload it real quick, but first I want to order a Harvest bowl from sweet green because I'm just I'm just starving guys. I don't know why it's like 11:15 in the morning, but I'm just like craving a harvest bowl and some good 
water. I'm gonna order that for pickup, then unload the cart, then bring the cart down and go run and get sweet green. That's my plan for the next little second. So that's what we're gonna do. We did it guys, <laughs> almost. <laughs> the sweet green has been secured. I'm so excited. Let's eat her up, yum, yum, yum. Okay guys, I inhaled my salad and now I need to wash some sheets so I can sleep in them tonight. And then I also need to see if I need to wash some towels with it too. I think I have time to get the laundry done. There's laundry in this building. And I just realized that this weekend, I'm gonna have to go back to Brooklyn to wash the sheets and towels that I left there. I don't have a laundry machine in that building, so I'm gonna have to like just take it to a laundromat, I guess. I don't know, I'm just gonna have to try and figure it out. It's gonna be a little stressful, but it'll be an adventure. So yeah, let's... <laughs> Oh my god, you guys, I just like, I feel like every time with moving, it's just like one thing after another and having to go back and wash this stuff, like I'm happy to do it, but it's just like this whole thing that's gonna take like, it's just like the inconveniences of moving like that. Like it's, it's so simple, just like washing sheets and towels, but it's gonna take me like, like a, it's gonna be like a six hour ordeal because I have to go from Midtown to Brooklyn, which is like an hour on the train. And then I have to actually wash everything, which will take like two to three hours. I don't even know. I don't know a good laundromat there. I'm just gonna have to figure it out. And then an hour back here. But I'm just gonna romanticize it. It'll be on Sunday. And even though I would love to just go to a coffee shop and edit all day, I will have a little excursion. But it's okay, because I have my Kindle. I can read on the subway. <laughs> everything is gonna work out. I'm just a little stressed right now, but let's strip these sheets and figure out how I can go wash them downstairs. That's my next task and I don't have another call until two and it's 12.38. So I'm feeling good after I get that in. I might go out and get a matcha latte and then take a shower. What a crazy day. Okay, I got the sheets in the laundry downstairs. It has like 38 minutes. So I'm gonna take a shower, get a coffee and then I think by the time that is handled, should be ready yeah, yeah oh my god i started vlogging literally right when the air conditioner popped on but anyway so it's so loud but i did my makeup did finished up all the <laughs> can i talk i finished up all of the laundry in between my meetings and did my makeup and got dressed for the night this is a little dress from abercrombie casual wearing sneakers i'm gonna go run to plant a queen and have a little solo dinner after my last call of the day get some steps in since i didn't get a workout and then after that i'm gonna go meet my friend at the palace theater because i actually have really exciting plans tonight i got invited to see ben platt's concert of his new album that comes out tomorrow so i haven't even listened to the album yet but it's at the palace theater which is this old historic broadway theater that's been closed for a long time and it's opening back up with this concert and there's gonna be a special guest i don't know who it is i'm literally so excited so yeah that's that's my plan for the night. I do need to hop onto this call right now though, so let's go. All right guys, work is over. I'm headed out the door, got my little bag, taking myself out on my solo date to plant a queen. Gonna have a nice little walk there. Brought my Kindle, might start the last letter by Rebecca Yaros while I'm eating. We'll see what the vibes end up being. Going to double check that I have everything before I go. It's a big week for me and my big team call. They always celebrate everyone's birthdays and anniversaries that are in like the coming weeks. And last year, I literally started at my company, I think two days after my birthday. My birthday was on a Saturday and I started on a Monday. So it was a big week for me and it's a big week for me this week too because it's my anniversary and my birthday is coming up just like, I mean, the anniversary really isn't that big of a deal of one year at the company, but like it's nothing I, really celebrate it's just like an acknowledgement just a big week for me coming up so stay tuned the vlogs are gonna get crazy with my birthday turning 25 in just a few days which is crazy and moving so something about this time of year i guess always gets me making crazy changes in my life or just having a lot going on i think it's just also like spring and summer starting like it's always an exciting time of year and i i honestly love having my birthday at this time of year because 
it's just so fun. How's this going on with me? Coming up soon. <laughs> but for now, let's go enjoy a nice little walk outside. I'm really feeling this dress. I don't have a lot of red clothing, I feel like. Especially not like daytime red clothing. I feel like all my red tops are like going out tops or going out dresses. But this is like a daytime red dress. And I love the vibes. Go Abercrombie. Abercrombie has been slaying. And I, have a, I did a huge order from them when I found out I was going into the office. So you'll be seeing a lot more Abercrombie fits. <laughs> to the palace theater which is like a 25 minute walk away and i'm so excited i'm meeting my friend rachel there incredible oh my god I'm so lucky and so glad I got to go and now I'm gonna walk home I'm actually so dead so I ran into my friends that were at this like opening night party in Bryant Park for my friend Jessica's and Hannah's show and <laughs> I was like on the, I was like outside of the party trying to get their attention, like screaming their names and like waving. And the bartender like literally thought I was a crazy woman and I was there for five minutes trying to get their attention and I never got their attention. <laughs> so I just looked like an idiot screaming their names. And then literally like five minutes after I left, they were like, oh my God, like they just saw my text. And they, they were like, oh my God, come back. And then I was like, oh, I'm like already like kind of far away. And they're like, oh, it's fine. It was just the funniest thing. <laughs> How's it going? Happy Friday! I had a great berries class this morning. I was really feeling the pump up, feeling like a, a weights gal. I actually really like berries and had a nice little protein smoothie from them. Stopped by the store to pick up a couple things. I needed some pimple patches and a case of water since I don't have Hydro Flask with me. I need to actually put that on my list to tell my mom that I need that. I keep on thinking of things that I need to tell my parents to bring from Shreveport to here whenever they come up to help me move. And the list is very hefty. I got a latte from Charlotte's Cafe. I really liked that place. The barista was really sweet. She seemed like she was from Italy. It was a really cute vibe in there. I just had a work call and I don't really have calls for the rest of the day. So it's relatively chill with work, um, but I do have some errands I wanna run. This afternoon, gotta get my eyebrows done. That's really it, that's the errand and pick up lunch at some point. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so excited for this weekend. It's gonna be a crazy one. So I'm just kind of like 
bracing myself for it and gonna get ready for it soon but yeah this braid is really really bothering me i was like i've had such a sweet tooth these days and like i need to chill out a little bit but yesterday i went and got ice cream at van leeuwman's I'm not saying it right. It's like a very popular chain in New York. It was just like a funny moment for me because I've never gotten ice cream alone. I feel like in the past, like, I don't know, a couple months, I've just been doing so many things alone that I used to never do alone. But like when I lived with my ex-boyfriend, it was so common for us to like go down the street and get a milkshake on like a random Wednesday night or Thursday night or whatever. Like I would never think to do that alone, but I was like, wait, I can totally just go get ice cream by myself. I don't need someone to go get ice cream with to get ice cream. But like, it's just random things like that that are just like realizations in my mind that like i don't know i'm like is this how people have been since like all of postgrad just like so independent and just like like i guess so because like i don't know i've just been i was in a relationship for so long i feel like i just like i don't know what it's like to be on your own because i was just always like juggling like seeing this one person like as much as possible and then living with that person and now i'm like I don't know it's like a weird realization of i'm just doing whatever i want whenever i want and i'm like is this what all my friends have been doing for the past like three years like now they're getting into relationships but i'm like for three years is this how everyone was living like this is so crazy oh yeah i got distracted by my phone but i'm planning my birthday for tomorrow but tonight is my friend rachel's birthday party and i'm so excited it's like a weekend of funness <laughs> what is up you guys i <laughs> I didn't really vlog the rest of the day. Honestly, it was just like, it was so hectic. I mean, it was like a nice afternoon. I don't know, I just wasn't feeling updating you guys. I didn't have much to say, but <laughs> I had a great time getting ready for the night. I feel like I haven't like gotten ready in my going out garb in a minute. And it's just always fun. I'm, I'm wearing pimple patches out, which I never really do. Like I'll wear them out to like the grocery store, but I won't really wear them out it's like a bar especially maybe i should take this one off i just don't know you guys i don't know what's acceptable but my skin will look so much better tomorrow if i just wear a pimple patch tonight because tomorrow is when i'm like taking a bunch of pictures of myself and i'm not really taking any photos tonight and i just feel like it'll be dimly lit enough like no one will care that i have a pimple patch on i have one up here but i feel like that's less noticeable i don't know just trying to be strategic <laughs> But this is my look. My brother does not have a full mirror, so I had to like use this chair and stand on it to see what my outfit looked like. But I think it's cute. I thought I would break in the cowboy boots before tomorrow night and it looks cute with this outfit. I was gonna walk, but it's like an hour and I was running late, so we don't have time to walk. So I'll probably walk to the one or something and then get on the train so it takes a bit less time. But hopefully, no, I feel like it's kind of hard to get places from Murray Hill, which is where I'm living. This pimple patch is really bothering me. I don't know what I should do. I feel like I should take it off. It's really bothering me. I feel like it's just drawing more attention to it. And I don't know how much it's really gonna help. Like I had one on in all day and it didn't really do anything. But I feel like this one blends in enough. And I feel like wearing one pimple patch is okay, but like two, that's kind of a lot. So I'm just gonna blend in this makeup again. But yeah, I'm so excited for the night. It's my friend Rachel's birthday party. We're going to this restaurant in Soho called Port Said, I think. No, it looks really good. So I think it's originally opened in Tel Aviv. So this is like their New York location. But I'm so excited to celebrate my friend Rachel. Her birthday was last Friday, so a week ago. But since it was Memorial Day weekend, I think she wanted to do something where more people would be in town. Also, she was out of town. So excited to celebrate her. It's just gonna be such a festive weekend and we are starting out with a bang. And then I think we're going to the Soho Grand Hotel afterwards to go out. And I went there the literal first weekend I moved here with Rachel and it was so much fun. I loved that vibe. So I just think it's gonna be a fun night. And I'm really feeling drinking tonight. I haven't drank in four weeks and I'm feeling the energy tonight. So your girl is gonna get a little tipsy. <laughs> Exciting stuff my dudes <laughs> okay i need to pack my purse and i really need to leave so i will see you guys when i get back guys the bus literally never came so i have to call an uber <laughs> i don't know why i feel like it says it came on google maps but i'm like there's no way i just missed the bus passed me by so whatever i was really trying to be on top of it 
and walk there. Then I was late. Then I tried to take public transportation and it just didn't come. So now we pay $30 for a new car. What is up you guys? The air is kind of loud. So I'm going to turn it off so I can talk to you guys. Anywho, good morning. <laughs> Last night was so fun. We went to Port Said. It was a fun restaurant. Very much like party vibes. Just had some little bites. Prosecco and rosé. And then we walked to the Soho Grand Hotel Club Room which surprisingly didn't have a line at like 11 30 p.m i got i was shocked it was pretty good it just like it wasn't as like dancey as we were hoping so we stayed for like i don't know maybe an hour and then we ubered to this place called down time i think let me double check i posted it and my instagram story yeah downtime i think it's in the east village but it was a really fun bar i enjoyed it it was a good time it was so fun celebrating rachel and now I'm kicking off my own birthday weekend tonight, so I will see you guys in the next vlog for my birthday celebrations of turning 25 and having my quarter life crisis in New York City. So, see you guys there. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Bye! <laughs>